The past few weeks have not been kind to Police Lieutenant Kellaway. Under his direction, last month's manhunt for the so-called Big Head Killer ended in disaster. Eleven police officers lost, and the killer got clean away. And now, new allegations against the lieutenant threaten to end his police career. Lieutenant, how do you account for the loss of the heroin and- No comment. Do you think there might be a connection between the Rapez murder? No comment. It's been said that you threatened Mr. Rapez's life only days before. No comment. Do you feel you've been victimized because of your failure in the Big Head case? No comment. Lieutenant, just what exactly is your first name? No comment. Motherfuckers. Couldn't have said it better myself. I usually knock, Tully, but I'm pretty pissed off. Now let's get down to business. Uh... I want you to know this is not a formal investigation. No charges have been filed against you. And I want to know why you aren't talking to the officer in charge of evidence on the date the heroin was lost. Oh, we are, but we've kept it quiet. My assistant, Mr. Lister, and I have agreed that we shouldn't needlessly tarnish the man's reputation. What? What about my reputation? That mob out there knows more than I do about all this. Yes, that is strange. I gave strict orders to keep this whole matter hush-hush. I can't imagine how it was leaked. Gee, I wonder. So, all in all, you have to agree, it wasn't so bad. Hell, after Lister, the DA looks like our best friend. Don't let that smooth talker fool you. When you least expect it, he'll ask for your suspension. Hey, Callaway, in my office, pronto! Pronto, huh? Been practicing your Spanish, Captain? Nice. Real nice. That's the thanks I get for trying to save your ass? How's that? You heard that the witness to Big Head's killing of Rapez is too scared to come in to us, right? Right. So what? So he just called again. Says he'll meet with one cop, alone, at midnight, 8th P on Fulton. Says he'll even let us tape a statement. You're in a lot of hot water, so I figured maybe you might want to be the one who meets the guy. This could be the lead we're looking for, and I think you can make this information work for you. You're right about that. Thanks, Captain. Thanks a lot. So you don't think the cop nailed Rapez? No, no, it's not his style. He's a by-the-book cop. So we are forced to admit, however reluctantly, that it looks like Sensini is responsible. Well, we both know how much he envied you for having Rapez on your payroll. I am also hard pressed to explain the apparent disappearance of Walter. Only Sensini would have enough cash to bribe Walter away from me. Louis, Chris, come here. Uh, yeah, boss, what do you want? Take Joey, David, and Frankie over to Sensini's restaurant and blast the hell of every Sensini within 10 miles of the place. It's almost midnight, so they'll be closing up the place in just a few minutes. Uh, so you want we should go over there right now? No, you fucking morons! I want you to go tomorrow during the lunch hour rush! Now get the hell out of here! That don't seem too smart, going during lunch hour. Hey, he didn't get to be the boss by being stupid, so let's just do like he says. I must be crazy, thinking I could strike a deal with these cops. They're probably surrounding me with a SWAT team, a hundred canines, and a riot squad. That is, if anyone shows up at all. How do you do? Ah! Uh, now how am I supposed to keep up with you with these damn flippers on? I can see you're in a hurry, pal, so I won't keep you long. You and me, we're gonna be friends, right? And friends, well, they just don't squeal on their buddies, do they? As your friend, I'm gonna recommend you go home and get some rest right away. And don't talk to any strange policemen on your way. It could be bad for your health. Ah, ah, ah. Wait just one second, pal. Something in your manner tells me you still don't believe I'm your bosom buddy. So to prove it, I'm gonna give you a little gift. Uh, uh, what's your name? H Henry. There you are, Henry. Use it in good health. <laughs> so much for our witness. Now let's clean this city up. Cleaning up this crime ridden burg requires limitless energy, and it's a busy, busy night for the mass vigilante. It is a night of vengeance, a night of mayhem, a night of terror, a night of good, clean, fun. Man, oh man, I should cut down on this crap. Damn it, Lieutenant, you gotta get back home. What the hell are you talking about? I tried to reach you at home, tell you to call in sick, but I missed you. If the captain thinks you're sick, he might let the whole thing slide. But if he sees you coming in this late, he'll blow a gasket. Look, Lionel, the fact is, I'm feeling pretty beat, so let's just go up and have a word with the old boy. The old boy is gonna save you the trouble of coming up to see him. Oh, uh, hi, Captain. I got a call this morning from that witness you were supposed to meet last night. 
He's scared half to death. Says he won't talk to anybody. Says he's leaving town. What did you say to him, Kellaway? How could you have fouled this up again? Captain, the mook never showed up last night. I was there for hours and he never showed up. My guess is he just got cold feet. Is that your guess, Kellaway? Well, that isn't my guess. Would you like to hear my guess? My guess is that somebody doesn't want our boy to talk to us. My guess is that the same somebody scared the piss out of him with threats so they couldn't talk. And my final guess is that somebody has got to be Big Head himself. Sounds good, but as you say, well, guesses. That's right, only guesses, which is why I'm assigning you to form a new task force to hunt down Big Head and get a few answers. Are you out of your skull? You remember how many men got killed last time we encountered that guy? Your concern for our men is touching, but I doubt that's the real reason you don't want to go up against Big Head again. I think the truth is you're afraid of him. Not afraid just for your men, just playing chicken. You're wrong there, fat boy. The truth is, if Big Head did kill Rapez, the only reason we should hunt him down is so we could pin a fucking medal on his chest. And I'll tell you something else, Captain. You try and go after Big Head, they won't be able to scrape enough of you off the street to soil a diaper. Easy, man. Take it easy. Get your freaking hands off me, you brown nosing flunky. What? That's it, mister. Get your ass home. I'm the double. And I'm docking you a day's pay as well. Stop it, Tony. Braid, what a laugh. That fat pig would have a heart attack if he knew the truth. At least a dozen hostages. Say, what's this? Apparently, the whole debacle stems from an alleged mob dispute, but further details are sketchy. Why the gunmen decide to attack Angelo Sensini here during the lunch hour rush is anybody's guess. Man, I told you we was making a mistake coming here now. Shut up. Frankie, head back to the john and keep an eye on the windows. Sure thing, Louie. So far as we know, none of the hostages. Wait a sec, I'm getting a report. And it looks like, yes it is, Lieutenant Kellaway has just arrived on the scene. It appears that the lieutenant is going to attempt to enter the restaurant unarmed in an effort to negotiate the release of the hostages. Well folks, in light of what I've just witnessed, and in spite of the accusations against him, I can only say one thing. There goes one brave cop. Yeah, either very brave or very stupid. Or very, very clever. Come on, boys. You got me. Let the others go. You must think we're some kind of idiots, Cap. Chris, take him into the kitchen and tie him up. Then come back out here. I'll be in the talk with you in a minute, pal. I can hardly wait. Get in there, you friggin' wise ass. Why that dirty bum? I'll murderize the cream. You're dead meat, cop! You really need to relax, mon ami. And now I will make a beautiful cake for the boys. A couple of this, a dash of that, some of this, and a whole mess of these babies. So here we are, stuck. And Sensini ain't even here. What was the boss thinking of, sending us here this time of day? Hey, that smells pretty good. Hey, stupid, we're supposed to stay out here and keep watch. And let those guys glom all the food? No way. Oh boy! It's good, Joey. Have some! Where the hell is everybody? Louie! Dave! Hey, David! Someone aced Louie! Dave! 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 You gotta wake up, David! We gotta get out of here! Oh, Mom's gonna kill me when she finds out! And now, Senor Toro, you give me your best shot. Ole! Who's that? Ole! Holy crud, they got Chris! Come on! Well, this is it, wise guy. Indeed it is, my friend. The moment of truth. Just as soon as he shows his face. And so, my friend, I bid you a fun howdy! Or maybe I should have said goodbye. Amazing but true, Detective Calloway has managed to bring about the safe release of all the hostages here at Sincini's restaurant. And here he comes now! Well, I guess this will show the captain who's afraid. Ted Calloway, do you think this will help to shift the focus from your present- No comment. Is it true that two of the gunmen actually shot each other? I'm sorry, no comment. Will you run for public office? I can't comment on that. Calloway! <laughs> I figured he'd be here. I'll just play it cool. Hey, Captain, how you doing? How am I doing? The chief, the police commissioner, and the mayor have been chewing on my ass for the last hour. How the hell do you think I'm doing? But, Captain... Shut up! That was quite a little show you put on, Kellaway. Too bad for you the mayor isn't a Charles Bronson fan. There's no room for vigilante justice on this police force. But... And I want to hear about what a friggin' hero you are. All I want from you now is your gun, your buzzer, and a letter of resignation. Well, there you have it. In an ironic twist of fate, Lieutenant Calloway's career now seems indeed over. To think he subdued five murderous thugs only- Five brainless jerks is more like it. 
Well, Bonneville, what do you think of your buy the book cop now? How can they do this to me? Not even an Israeli commando squad could have done a better job. Nah, so what, right? I mean, what do I care if I have to resign? It's not the end of the world. Hell, who am I kidding? Being a cop means everything to me. Well, at least I have the comfort of knowing things can't get any worse. Alright, Kellaway, hand it over! You heard me, Lieutenant. I want my mask! 